Hello, Keller Williams. I am Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team. I'm one of the trainers at Market Center Number One, specifically helping agents learn how to fully utilize DocuSign. This specific video is to create a template for the general information and notice form. I have two other videos showing you how to create a template from dot loop templates and then also directly from DocuSign. This is specifically for the general information form since the surveillance text is a little tricky. It's uh, more text than will fit in the box. You're going directly from the room. And so I'm gonna show you my hack for doing this. So I'm in rooms right now. On this, you could create a new room. You do not have to work in one of your opportunity rooms. I have a couple of rooms that I use that I created um, for uh, training and test purposes. So I'm typing in template. I'm gonna use my room that says template. And I would encourage you to create a new room just for doing this. And not to confuse you, you will not be able to pull the templates from this room. That is not the way DocuSign works. You're going to have to pull it into the other area, template area, which I will show you again in this video how to do that. Um, so I'm not going to fill out anything in details for this particular exercise. I have already brought the general information and notice to sellers document into this room. If you need to do that at this point, you're going to go to DocuSign Forms. For our market center, market center number one, I'm going to shift from library to group. I could go into buyer residential, and then I want the general information. And even though it says sellers on here, uh, please note that it's the same form. So I'm going to choose this form. Mine is already checked because I already have it in mine. You're going to click add. So here I have this particular form. If I click on it and I want to add the surveillance, verbiage. So this is going to open the form. I want to just show you that on my desktop I have cut and pasted the information. I actually took this from the dot loop document. Um, so I have it. I'm going to scroll down and come back into the room. I'm going to scroll down on this and I'm going to paste it. But please note, you'll see it cuts it off. It cuts it off right here. The text cannot fully fit into this box. So I can't do it that way. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to show you how I'm going to add it in. So at this point, I'm going to save and close this document. So really, I didn't do anything here other than show you this. However, I still need to download the document so I can upload it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I am going to click on this little box over here. This shows up. I'm going to click on DocuSign. This is just a little hack for being able to download when you're inside DocuSign. So when this comes up, I can now download this document. I'm going to download it. So if I show you that again, if I was on the screen before this, there's not actually a download function there. So if I click on view when I'm in the envelope, it allows me to download it. An extra step, I know, but it is one way to download it. If you have a more elegant way of doing that, please let me know. So in this screen right now, there's nothing else actually that I need to do. So I want to totally get out of here. I'm actually just going to go back by clicking the back arrow. I am going to go into templates. Two other videos show you how to do this as well. Go up to my smiling face in the top right. I click to switch to e-signature. I'm going to wait a moment. I'm going to be patient. And then once I am in here, I click on Templates, and I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to click on Create Templates. This is going to be the general information and notice to buyers. I'm going to upload. Even though it says sellers, don't worry about that. It's the same exact document. I do need to add the roles, and I want to set the signing order. So buyer one, um, I'm going to go ahead and add buyer two. Please note, and you're going to hear me talk about this in the other videos, you do need to use this very specific exact wording, buyer one. Don't use the Roman numeral one. You want to use buyer one, buyer two. Otherwise, when you get into the pre-tagged roles, uh, you're going to have duplicates. It all works out, even if you don't do it correctly. I've had to learn and do it, uh, go back and change some things. On the general information notice to buyers, there's not 
place for me to sign as the buying agent, so I'm not going to include that. Both of these need to sign. That's all good. So at this point, I'm going to click on uh, Next. And this will allow me at this point to add in the text that I need. I will say though, actually I need to go back. So right here I'm going to click on back. I want to put myself as a recipient. The reason why I'm going to put myself as a recipient and put myself as the number one is because I actually want to adjust the box that uh, has the text box. I forgot that's one of my little hacks here. So now I have buyer agent as one, buyer one for number two, buyer two for number three. And now I'm going to click on next. So now buyer agent is here. I don't actually need to sign, but I'm going to create the text box. If I created the text box under buyer one or buyer two, they could change what's in the text box. And I don't want them to change what's in the text box. So here I'm going to add a text box. I'm going to make it bigger. And I am going to right click. I had already copy and pasted that text from the other form. I actually need to make the formatting smaller. I think with the eight, it'll work. Yep. And this text box actually got a little bigger. I need to make it smaller again. So now I have this information in here and thankfully I will be able to get paid now because I have this on my uh, form. If I didn't have it in here, if I had the form signed without it, the market center is not going to pay me. So I want to make sure that it's in there. So I've got this in here. Um, so what else do I need on this form? Because this is going to become a template. I need to go to buyer one. I want buyer one. I want their name at the top here. I also want buyer two's information. So I'm going to have to go in a little further over. I'm going to actually copy this. I'm going to drag copy. I'm going to do command C. I'm on a Mac. And then when I come down to this page, I'm going to do command V. It's going to paste it. I'm going to do the same on the next page. I didn't do it. I probably did it on the next page. Got it. Got it. Got it. There we go. And one more time. I got my text in here. Keller Williams Realty. I need to sign this, so I need to go. Oh, you know what? That's funny. I did actually need to be. Um, on this form anyways, didn't I? So here's my signature, date signed. I want to have this a little closer over. You've heard me say that we have the time stamp on here, so this date sign ends up being very long. Um, I'm actually going to make this just a little smaller so it does not uh, go over the broker's associate signature. There we go. And I'm actually going to copy this. Let's see if it works. I'm going to change it to buyer one. I'm going to paste it. It didn't work. <laughs> so will it do it if I change it here? No, it won't. Okay, that didn't work. Delete. So now I need to do the uh, signature box for buyer one. I'm going to put that here. And the date. And buyer two. And the date. And now this is good to go. I'm going to save and close. So now when I use this form from the templates, once I'm in the envelope, um, it will have that wording for surveillance in there. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful.